All right, folks, we're here day three of the vlog series. We're here at the Gym Shark event at the Hangar. Super awesome event today. So I've already deadlifted 495, no warm up. Low key may have injured my lap, but I'm gonna try to get some more exercise for you guys, show you guys around, show you guys the event. These are the type of events and the things that I love to be a part of. I actually had some people recognize me and ask for photos today, which again, guys, I tell you all the time, is super important and super, I don't know, it just does a lot for me. And not from like a cocky or conceited standpoint, it just lets me know that I'm impacting people. And honestly, man, it, it, it's a wonderful. So I'm gonna show you guys this event, kind of a little bonus clip for you guys, show you guys what it's like to be at these Gymshark events. People are actually way nicer than you think. People are cool, things are awesome. Here's the physique, man. We're out here in the sun having a good time, folks, all right? So let's get in here, let's check out this event. Remember, folks, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, see what we can see, see what we can lift. Maybe we'll squat, maybe we'll bench a little bit more since we already deadlifted. And uh, yeah, let's just enjoy this amazing event today, all right? I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and then we'll we'll talk about some things afterward, talk about some things like how we get started in the fitness industry and some of the things that I think a lot of you have questions about, and I've been able to do so much, I'm just trying to translate that over to YouTube because I just want to be of service to you guys and be helpful for you guys all right let's keep making these gains and let's keep having some fun let's go all right folks so when the event started you walk in you see this cool gym shark layout people taking pictures doing photo ops and you come in you see the cool lift a lay symbol remember we're inside of a hangar here which is extremely awesome see the event hundreds of people came through squats deadlifts merch all that good stuff panels then we get to see our girl cranian hit or her deadlift this was crazy because, believe it or not, this is one of my first friends in the fitness industry in LA. She's grown to tremendous height. She can deadlift over 500 pounds, but right here she goes for a new max here on her deadlift. Check it out. That was pretty much it for the event. Now we're gonna head to Golds and hit a monster chest day. All right, hope you guys liked it. We might come back for day two. Let's move on. So one of the main questions I've been getting are questions like this or statements like this, never work in a big box gym. And I realized I've been a trainer for 12 years. And I've never really gave you guys tips and resources that you can use to become a great trainer. So today we're gonna go through a chest workout. We're gonna push some good weight. No more than four to five exercises. It's gonna be a good amount of volume today. It's gonna be a really good workout. Some expectations and some things I'm gonna be doing going forward. I'm gonna be making videos every day for the next 30 days. Kind of commitment to myself and to you guys. So comment some video ideas down below. We do have the workout reviews of, uh, of uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, Floyd Mayweather and and Kevin Hart coming out in the next week. So we've got some great videos coming up, but let me know what you guys need. So let's break down being a personal trainer and what that means. I'm a trainer here at Gold's Gym Venice. I pay rent here. My rent is around $870 a month. And then I train my clients. Basically, I make sure I have enough money every, every month for my rent. It's like a booth rent as if I was working at a place like, um, like a barbershop or something like that, right? So I pay my rent here and I pay my insurance. All everything costs me about $950 a month total to run my business. So when you guys are trainers at a big box gym, what you have to start to do is learn how to be the best in-person trainer that you can be. I think the thing that I see the most happen to people and the problems that they have is they just get so caught up in the system of being a big box gym trainer that they they just don't they don't manage their business well. I always think about it like this. If you want to run your own business, be great at the job that you have now. As for becoming a fitness influencer or someone in this space, which is another big question I get from people, how to become a big uh, fitness influencer. Make content that makes sense to you. Don't try to be like other people. Don't try to just act like other people, okay? Because at the end of the day, folks, everything that you're trying to do, someone has probably already done, right? So instead of trying to copy them, just try to be your authentic self because you never know. You might end up being that unique combination that people have never seen before. You might end up being that person that can really help impact someone and help them break through their goals, right? Everyone's just trying to get a little bit better. If you make your content for the people, you're going to do a lot better than if you're just trying to keep up with other people, if that makes sense. So as someone who's been this for 12, 13 years, I've been able to go to like red carpet events and travel and do all these things because of my career on social media. I would just say, stop worrying about other people. Stop worrying about being the most jacked, the most shredded. Just get in the best shape that you can and you're gonna inspire people along the way. I started my journey at 155 pounds. I'm 225 pounds right now, right? That's 70 pounds and like 
almost 18 years, no, 70 pounds in probably the last 12, 10 to 12 years. So it's been a slow grind, but it takes time, folks, right? So let's get to this workout. Let's have some fun. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helped you understand what it takes to be successful in this industry. Collaboration, not having an ego, being the best at the job you have now before you start your business is gonna set you up for success in the long run. Stop just looking at, I wanna do this, and take steps today where you're at now to get to where you wanna be. So I'll give you guys a little tip on some of my dreams. I wanna travel the world and work out. I wanna be able to inspire people from all around the globe. I wanna show them how to eat healthy in every country. I wanna show them, I wanna show the different countries how other countries train. I wanna be one of the biggest names in the industry so that I can help more people, not just for money, not just for fame, but I wanna get that name so that I can travel to different places and do things to help impact the community. I wanna give men and women a safe place to talk about their feelings. That's why I made that series about my breakup. That's why I've been out here telling you guys my lows and my highs. Last thing I wanna to touch on before we really get into this video today, okay? Last big thing. So, I had someone on here say, you know, they feel bad or, you know, they're sorry for the things I've gone through. I'm not sorry. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I love what I do, folks. I love being out here. I love being able to show you guys what's possible. And I love to show you guys the bumps and bruises along the way. So if I'm in a video like my previous video I released yesterday, where I'm a little sad or a little down, I'm telling you guys, it's not a problem. I'm not down. It's going to be okay. I love what I do. I love being able to get up every day and chase my dreams, whether I succeed that day or not. Because honestly, every day that you get out of bed and step foot out inside your place or step or do something towards your goals, you've already won. All right, so let's get into this chest workout. Let's bench some weight. Let's do some flies. Let's have a good time and let's build this chest. All right, let's get to it and let's go. Um, all right, folks, we're pretty warm already going to our chest workout today. So the goal is going to be to hit our heavy four to six rep range on the bench press. We're really, really focusing on our strength protocol, really trying to get that vascularity and pump going as well. So after we finish this bench press, we're going to be doing our more hypertrophy range. So most of the exercises you're going to see today are going to be 10 to 12 reps on the uh, rep ranges we're really gonna see how much of a pump we can get see how many veins and how much muscle we can push out for you guys and um, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about being a personal trainer man and building your fitness career in general as an influencer or as a trainer because you guys have to understand man this stuff is not easy all right it's it's just about staying consistent and finding your voice and finding your path all right let's get back to this workout Whew. going for six reps here it's 225 on the bar let's get it I gotta say, more and more, 225 is getting lighter and lighter, folks. Um, I started flat bench pressing again probably like about a month and a half ago. 255, 245, this was like really hard for me. Now I'm starting to find that feeling again, trying to find that smoothness. My overall max bench ever in my life was 370 almost two years ago. So the goal now is to try to get back to that without getting injured. Last time I ended up injuring that connective tissue between my pec and my shoulder. So now it's just about being safe, controlling the weight, and going from there. All right, let's step it up. I'll show you guys one more set. Whatever my top set is, I'll show you that. We'll get to the meat of this workout. Remember, if you need a training program, click down below. I got you guys as always. We're gonna be doing these daily vlogs, man. I really want to build this channel and just be like a resource for you guys and create entertaining content. I feel like my life does have some pretty cool days. So to avoid missing those days, I'm gonna vlog for as many days in a row as I can. 30 days is like the challenge right now in my head, but I'm trying to vlog as many days as I can, show as many of my workers as I can, just so you guys can see who I am and see if I can help you guys, all right? 12 years experience, and we're just getting started. 275 on the bar, 275 here. Let's see what we got. Everything is crazy, like how much weight you can lift. Like, as you start to get stronger and you see these weights and see these numbers, it's just crazy. This is 275 pounds I'm about to push off my chest for more than one rep. That's wild. Guys, gotta be thankful for the strength for the progress you do make. <laughs> Don't be so obsessed with competing with other people. Just be thankful for what your body can do. Oof. One more. That was a clean four reps right there. 
again, be thankful for what your body can do. Always be mindful and, and, and present about what you're able to do right now. There are people who wish they could do what you could do every day. Stay locked in, stay committed to yourself, and honestly, you'll be shocked at how much weight or how much stronger you can get, all right? 275 is probably gonna be my top set today at a set of four. I benched earlier this week. I'm just working on building that strength right now, all right? Let's move on to this next exercise. I hope you guys didn't mind my little, my little TED talk. So the mic went dead here, but we had some decline machine press here, sets of 10 to 12, about three to four sets here, nice and controlled, really driving that chest up, squeezing as hard as we can. As you can see, we had a pretty good pump here. Take your time, drive those elbows forward, try to keep that upper back glued to that platform and you're gonna be just fine. Today's workout is no more than four to five exercises, keeping those rep ranges at that medium, level and we're going to just go from there so we're going to go to an incline machine press here again just doing a lot of controlled work here again 10 to 12 reps as well driving all the way up for here i was going a little bit more explosive a little bit more power didn't go super heavy today just really tried to get that blood into the muzzle and then as we finished this we moved on to another exercise and we finish with some posing the only thing you guys didn't see was my push-ups today but as you can see the physique's coming in chest is getting pretty full push-ups we did three sets to failure slowly getting that shape that we've been looking for thank you guys for joining me for this video and coming with me to the gym shark event we're trying different editing styles different types of things as we go forward so hopefully this was helpful i appreciate you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video